my channel if you have not subscribed yet then please click the subscribe button below and join the revolution and you can see i got a wig on this is not my braids it's a wig it's a wig babes um so i got my wig on and today i'm gonna go cut my hair i'm gonna go cut my hair and i'm so scared because honestly I just I don't know if I'm that girl I don't know you know there's some girls who cut their hair they look so cute they look so beautiful I don't know if I'm that girl I don't know if I have the face to support it I don't know if I have the energy to support it or the strength but um, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do the big chop you can imagine that to cut my hair is such a scary move but um, honestly since I moved to America my hair started breaking I think it's a change in environment so I figured this is the best time to just go for it so you know what Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Hey guys, my name is Lebo. And I'm, uh, I'm about to uh, do some life changing moment right now. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it looks, it's not that terrible, but then it's just, it needs my touch. Right. <laughs> I've never cut my hair before, so please don't let me down. Uh, okay, so yeah. Thing is now, she has never cut before. Mm. So this is the first time. Mm. And, um, Sure, no. She's a bit scared. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm thinking about my whole life. Like, I'm, I might as well change my name at this point, actually. <laughs> Uh, we got with the cut and there is clearly no turning back definitely no turning back at this point i'm still hoping for the best and if you guys think it's gonna turn out really good comment down below and if you don't don't comment <laughs> Later. This here, this is growth. This is love. This is joy. This hair looks like it went to private school, guys. This hair ate chicken licking anytime it wanted to. This hair is good hair. This is blessed hair. This is favored hair. This hair is a trust fund baby. This hair inherited wealth from its parents. That's the kind of hair that I have on my head right now. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have heard the saying that a woman who cuts her hair is a woman who's ready to change her life. That is a lie. No, she, she wasn't ready. As a woman who cut my hair, I was not ready to change my life. But, I don't know if this is alas or not, but Oksala, either way, my life did change and I learned a lot of things as a result of cutting my hair. And I wanna share some of them. The first thing I learned with the help of the Snapchat beard filter is that if I was a guy, with the Snapchat beard filter as my real life beard, I would steal all the honeys. I would absolutely have every single one of your girls relentlessly, without shame, I would 100% have all the honeys. God knew why he had to make me a woman, Lark. He looked at me as a boy and he was like, dude, like, it's like, you're not gonna give other guys a chance to breathe. 
all the honeys are gonna come to you. You're gonna get all the women's. I can't have that. So you know what? Let me just slap a vagina on you, make you a girl, so you can go and conquer the world as a girl, you know? But seriously, the first thing that I learned, I realized that I have a fear of cutting my hair. I really feel like hair is a huge part of one's identity. Your hair doesn't define who you are, but I really felt like it defined who I was as a woman, as a person, as a black woman in particular. And that led to fear. I had a fear of cutting my hair, a fear of losing myself as a result of cutting my hair. And I hate fear. I hate feeling afraid of anything. And so sometimes I seek adrenaline. If you haven't watched my skydiving video, go check it out. Because as soon as I recognize that, okay, I'm afraid of something, I usually try my best to push myself towards that thing to conquer my fear. So whether I'm going skydiving, bungee jumping, putting a snake on my head, yes, I did that. Walking with a cheetah, I did that. Whatever it is, try to really just attack that fear and conquer it so that I'm bound by one less fear, you know? And so my hair became a fear and I grew increasingly uncomfortable knowing that I'm afraid of who I am without my hair. And I didn't want to cut bold because I look like my father. So, I mean, I look like my mom, like honestly, copy paste. But then I also look like my dad, you get me, bruv. So I didn't want to cut my hair bald so I could look like a middle-aged man. My dad is a very attractive man, but I'm not an attractive version of my dad. You know what I mean? Like he's Oros and I'm bootleg Oros. He's Coke and I'm Pepsi. Well, in the time that I cut my hair, I had many, oh, you look nice, you know, <laughs> doing it. But wow, I felt the weight of the people who were saying, you look like a man, you don't look good, or you look weird. A lot of people were calling me lesbian because apparently every single lesbian in the world has short hair. That's apparently the signature thing for lesbians, which of course is not true, might I add. But I had a lot of negative things being thrown at me. And here I am seeing myself with short hair for the first time in about 500 million point five billion years. And these words that people are throwing at me, I'm trying to adapt to this change. I'm trying to get used to seeing myself in this way. I'm trying to learn to love myself without my hair, which I felt defined me for the longest time. And now here are people abusing me, hurling these words at me. I learned that indeed words have power, but I also learned that I have the power to reject those words and to replace them with the words I choose and with my truth and above my truth, what's God's truth. God said I was fearfully and wonderfully made. I had to understand that the opinions of others when it comes to me and my self-worth and how I look and how I choose to lead my life, it doesn't matter. It's my words that matter. It's my beliefs that matter. And if I believe that I look good, if I believe that I am beautiful, that is what counts. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and I am the only beholder that counts when it comes to how I look and my views. And this goes beyond just hair. There are people right now who are being bullied for being too skinny, who are bullied for being too fat, who are bullied for being a thick, who are bullied for any kind of body type you have that is not the Instagram ideal body, you're being bullied for it. There are people who are bullied for being too dark. There are people who are bullied for being too light. There are, like There's always cause and reason for people to bully you because of how you look. But at the the end of the day the only opinion that counts and matters is yours you your opinion is what matters about yourself and you have to have the strength and the courage to shower yourself with the love that you need and that you deserve for every single negative thing that they are throwing at you you need to replace it with a positive affirmation and reinforce it with the word and remind yourself of what God says about you and what you believe about yourself as much as I am saying it's important to affirm yourself with positive thoughts, with positive words, and to remind yourself of who you are and who God says you are, I really want to make a call to people who are out there harassing people with their words. Guys, words carry weight. Word is power. Your tongue is power. Your words can break people's spirits. So please mind the words that you're saying to other people. And also, if you have hurt someone with your words or you said something insulting or incriminating or hurtful to people, as much as you used your words in your mouth to say it, 
use your words and your mouth to apologize. An apology is not assumed. As much as you're gonna use your words to do harm, use your words to do good. Use your words to apologize to people. Use your words to make it right. Use your words to build people up. Don't just use your words to be negative. To sum up what I'm trying to say with this lesson that I learned, I learned that words carry power and as much as the words that other people throw at me have power, the words I choose to accept, choose to embrace, have power. And the words that I choose to say in response to what is being said to me have power. And I have the power to affirm myself. I have the power to rebuke and reject the words other people say. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.